So here's an E92 M3 rear axle assembly, um, mainly including the rear subframe, which is a tubular bracketry system that holds the diff and then the, all the arms and therefore the hubs and things like that. It's on our special transmission uh, hydraulic stand, which is how we keep it and we can move it around and put it up and down back into the vehicle. That's how we take them out as one big piece. And we do this because we have to refurbish cars and undersides quite regularly, um, especially the E90, E92, E93 M3s. Lots of owners are contacting us and seeing that they've got lots of corrosion on their subframes, which really isn't nice when the outside of the car is so stunning. And then you look underneath the car and see all this corrosion building up, which is quite a concern, especially when that's what it should have looked like from factory, a solid, nice black coated component. But for some reason, the paint just flakes off um, or the exhaust heat burns the paint off we're not sure fully and then corrosion sets in over the years this is a 2008 model e92 m3 with 111,000 miles so it's only 12 years old and we've discovered a hole in the subframe which is quite a surprise and quite a shock because i think this could be an mot failure in the uk the MOT test, I think has a, the tester has an option to um, use a small tool, which I think is like a hammer or something, but a very small one, and tap any sort of corrosion, whether it be on the chassis or subframes, and see if that's uh, structural corrosion. And this is what you would call structural weakness, because there's clearly a hole developed, because the corrosion on this subframe has been going on for, well, the car is 12 years old, and it's eaten away. It's actually a hole in it. So that's a really sad thing to see on a, what is a wonderful car, and still quite considered a modern vehicle, an E92 M3 with not many miles on it. And I happen to know from speaking to this owner that this is the only owner that owns this car. He bought this car brand new from BMW in 2008 and it's lived in his heated garage pretty much every single night of his life. So it's not how the car is stored. It's obviously a little bit to do with how the car may be driven or where it's driven through, but it's um, some of it is obviously to do with the poor protections that BMW put on these vehicles. Here's the back of the subframe. This is what you'd look at underneath the vehicle if you were getting down and having a look and wanting to check things out. And you'd see that there's corrosion developing around certain weld lines. And the backs sometimes look quite scary. Like this is a bit of a, a sad state to see. But the bits that you can't actually see when the subframes are in the car is all this front section. This is horrific corrosion for a 12 year old vehicle, and it's not on the chassis of the car. Um, that's a whole nother story, which you'll see in our other videos. And the diff casing itself is never gonna rot through because that's quite a thick steel or iron, but it's, it's certainly not nice to look at. Um, but the front edge is, is where a lot of it is hidden. And then when you actually look and inspect on certain weld lines, which are obviously weak, you can see that there's holes developing and in an E92 M3 subframe. So that subframe needs either welding, which let's face it, nothing's gonna weld to this. The area of concern is so widely covered with corrosion and the metal's pitted because of peaks and troughs that it's gonna be so thin. You would never weld and you would just keep on chasing this away. And then you're not into any sort of normal shaped piece that you have to weld in. So if you cannot save that subframe, it needs a replacement and at that point you obviously would be powder coating a new subframe or a spare subframe to get rid of all any loose corrosion make it perfect and then put new bushes in